Hi there, this is Penelope and this is a short video for those who are not quite getting the fact that sometimes I will say that sine pi by 6 is a half and things like that. So this is a short video for those that are having difficulty. Now you'll notice that I've drawn the diagram or actually I've taken it from a textbook but that it's got 30 degrees and 60 degrees. You need to remember that 30 degrees is the same as pi by 6 because it's 180 over 6 and 60 degrees is the same as pi by 3 because it's equal to 180 over 3. Now if we're talking about degrees then you can check these because your calculator will be in degrees. If we're talking about these ones with pi in them, your calculator will be in radians. If you're finding the sine or the cosine. Now let's have a look at this diagram. It is an equilateral triangle. And the sides are two units and because it's equilateral all the angles are 60 degrees or another way of writing that is pi by 3. Now you know Sokotoa so I'll put up here because this is another thing that you know So if we're looking for sine of 60, which is the same as sine of pi by 3, then sine of 60 is opposite over hypotenuse. Now, if you've if this triangle being equilateral, we would have had to work out that that side was root 3. So we would have said that 1 squared plus dA squared equals 2 squared. So dA squared equals 4 minus 1, which is 3. So dA itself would equal root 3. So that's where the root 3 comes from. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse which gives us root 3 over 2. Now obviously if you use your calculator to look up that it gives you 0.866. If we look at cos 60 degrees that's the same as sine pi by 3. Now cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so in this case the adjacent is 1 over 2 which is 0.5. Now, I won't bother doing the tans because that's not what we're here to do right now. Uh, let's look at 30. Let's look at sine 30 degrees which is the same as sine pi by 6. Now 30 degrees is this one up here, so this adjacent here is also root 3 in this triangle. So for sine 30 now, looking the other way, the opposite is 1 and the hypotenuse is 2. And cos 30, cos 30 is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse which is root 3 over 2. Okay so that's just shorthand ways of writing them. It's actually the most accurate way of writing them because it's not really 0.8660. It's got a it's got a whole lot of numbers after that. But that that is an approximation of it. That is for 
a, an equal lateral triangle so that you've got 60 or 60 or you can divide it up into 30 degrees. Let's have a look at an isosceles triangle. So I've got two sides the same, one unit, and using Pythagoras to say that 1 squared plus 1 squared equals PR squared, if we didn't know it, so that's 2 equals PR squared, so PR equals the square root of 2, so that's where the root 2 comes from, and 45 degrees is pi by 4, because it's 180 over 4 and if we just those two things are interchangeable this one if we're working with that you'd have your calculator in degrees if we're working by pi you would have your calculator in radians so let's find sine 45 degrees which is the same as sine pi by 4 Oops. So sine, take either of the 45s, the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so it'll be 1 over root 2, and 1 over root 2 is, using my calculator then, 0.7 I think, is 1 over root 2, whoops, it 80, 1 divided by square root of 2, yep, 0.7, whatever, and cos 45 degrees is also the same as sine pi by 4, opposite as cos this time, and cos 45 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is again 1 over root 2. Okay, hope that clears that up for you. Thank you.